Last time, you saw us arrive in Brazil from Ascension Island after eight days at sea. We have sailed from Durban, South Africa, to Cape Town, and across the Atlantic to Brazil without seeing many other vessels, until I met the Ore China at 5.45 in the morning, approximately 200 miles off the coast of Brazil. When we wake, hear the birds and see the sun. Side by side our fears are done Oh, the good times just begun Oh, we know what we have, let's hold on tight Found what we're looking for in life oh. So after seven days of almost sheer boredom and only seeing two other ships the whole time. N neither of them, one was two nautical miles away and one was 14 nautical miles away. At 5.45 in the morning, when I'm on watch, I have this or China right in my path. I just called him to ask his intention and let him know that we were under sail I wish I had recorded that. It was interesting, very friendly conversation, but he says he's going to alter his course. And here he's doing it right now. It just went from 131 to 132. But we're still passing it. It had us at times from anywhere from a mile and a half closest pass to 14 meters closest pass. 14 meters is way too close. Um, He's done it again. There's a course over ground 133, so he's changing it now even more. But interestingly, he asked me, I, you know, called, told him that we were the sailing vessel and that we were under sail and could not change our course any further. Go ahead, Ortona. This is the sailing vessel Estrella Dumar. Thank you very much, Or China. I appreciate it. Estrella Dumar standing by. Yeah, uh, just one more question. Uh, how many crew do you have on board? We have two crew on board. Just two of you. And uh, where are you going heading to? We are currently heading to Cabadello from Cape Town. And uh, is it like an expedition or is it uh, what exactly is the uh, intention of the boy? We are simply a private sailing vessel. <laughs> yes, sir. It has been a long trip. <laughs> By the time we get to Cabadello, it will have been about 28 days at sea, but we stopped at St. Helena and Ascension Island both. Well, in the, all the days of sailing, this is the first time I've come this close to any other target, so I appreciate your help in the matter. Yeah, I do understand. Uh, uh, I do understand. Uh, but actually, uh, we are uh, a very large ore carrier. So we usually do the voyages uh, for 45 days, 30 days. We are heading to Malaysia. By the time we leave Malaysia, it will be nearly about a month. And uh, I, I know, but I do appreciate that it's such a small vessel. Uh, the two of you, you might be getting a lot of even fishing moments. And I do appreciate the kind of uh, weather you are going. 
Well, thank you. You guys have a long journey ahead of you, too, to Malaysia, so safe travels. Safe travels. Safe travels. Uh, yeah, right now, it looks like you are, you are going to cross my bow. And, uh, for right now, it looks like you are going to cross my bow. So, anyway, no problem. I think it's a very good thing. A very warm voyage. And, uh, Same to you, sir. Thank you. Estrella Dumar standing by. Okay, that was interesting, but it still looks like we're close and passing awful close and he keeps changing his course. It makes me a little nervous at this time of night, but he knows I'm under sail, so. We'll see what happens. Thank you very much for the information. I appreciate that. Very good. Estrella Demar standing by. Okay, <laughs> it's a little nerve wracking, but he seems to understand and seems to be altering. He's altered a full 15 degrees. I'm wondering if he'd have stayed at his 130, if it would have been better, but he did say before I pushed record again that he is, um, oh, like 400 tons displacement. That's a lot compared to our 14. Well, he's changed course a lot. Now he's at 153, but we are slowly getting further apart. Our closest pass will be, see it goes to 411 meters and that just scares the heck out of me. Anywhere from three quarters of a mile in 16 minutes. Why does this have to be at night? Why? The, the night factor kills me. It just, I realize there's nothing different out around us. The waves are the same, the ocean is the same, but when you can't see, it just adds a different level, a different level of stress. Yeah, okay, he's awesome. There he goes, like 1.31 nautical miles down to half a mile. And this is changing because with the waves and the current, we we go back and forth, especially when we're sailing, sailing down those waves. Although we have a, a locked course of 260, you can see this course over ground changes. And so that's why this CPA changes. His, he doesn't change at all. He wouldn't float with the wind and the waves back and forth like we do. His locked course and course over ground are probably very similar. I don't know that for sure, but I'm guessing. So I've turned on my deck light. You can't see with the deck light, you cannot see that ship and everybody. She's about right there. There's her lights right there, just barely. See how the waves move me around? So we're going to pass about a nautical mile from each other in, oops, in approximately 10 minutes and I mean you're going anywhere from five to seven knots an hour so if she sat still it would take me uh, yeah more than an hour to get to her but 
it's still nerve wracking. And if there were a vehicle, a nautical mile away from me, I wouldn't even bother to notice. But it's just a lot different out here. It's just a different, everybody moves slower. That guy moved slower. I moved slower. You'd think slower would help us stay out of each other's way more. in this camera it doesn't look that close but it feels close I wish it was daylight it'd be kind of cool to see her she's an ore ship headed to Malaysia Five more minutes until we're at our closest, which is three quarters of a mile. So now we know MY is Malaysia. I don't know what TRMT is, but the Ore China is a 360 meter vessel, 65 meter beam with a 23 meter draft. Speed over ground at 10 knots. We're well clear of her now. I'm gonna go on her stern in two nautical miles. We'll be our close. I mean, yeah, in two minutes, we'll be three quarters of a nautical mile on her stern. Man, this will be great video in the daytime, huh? Or China, or China. This is the sailing vessel Estrella Dumar. Estrella Dumar. Sir, I just wanted to thank you again for all your help. This is the most excitement I've had in 28 days at sea. Thank you again and safe travels to you and your crew. Estrella Dumar standing by. And there she is. There she goes. We did not get run over by an Orange China ship. Did you hear him thank me for my courage? I think that's pretty cool. Next time, we check into Brazil, tour Recife, and prepare to go to the U.S. for Christmas. Ooh.